Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will see one of the CSS pseudo selector, nth of type. The nth of type selector allows you to select one or more elements based on their source order according to a formula. In the CSS selector level 3 specification, this is defined as a structural pseudo class because it is used to style content based on its relationship with parent and sibling elements. So suppose we have one unordered list, let's see with an example. Okay, we have one unordered list and few items. Let's say we have five items. Okay, and one, two, Three, four, and five. Suppose we have five items, and we need a CSS. We need class, so we can add an alternate elements. We can select alternate elements. So what we can do? We can write down. Li. nth of type and here you can give to n and background to light still blue so you can see this is selecting the second and the fourth element okay let me add one more like Let's call it zero. So you can see it is selecting the elements from first, third, fifth. Okay. So as you can see, nth of type takes an argument. This can be a single integer or the keywords like even odd or formula okay if an integer is specified only one element is selected but the keywords or the formula will iterate through all the children of the parent element and it will select the matching elements so let's see one more example and in those examples let me add let me remove this zeroth element in ul you can add up to 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, and 8. Let me add some class 2 here so we can differentiate list 1. Okay, and let me remove this LA. So in CSS, let me see the output. So there is nothing. Okay. So in CSS, let's say you are adding one li, and in li, you are simply uh, let me just add, you are simply selecting li and of type, and you are giving one as an argument and background to light still view let's see so as you can see it is selecting only first element here okay so this is very useful when you don't know what is the first element and you don't want to give any class because the list items are generated dynamically maybe from third party api or data is coming from database so you don't know what is the first li so in that case you can use this css li nth of type and one okay let's create another l ul and list two so how you can write down list two space 
li n of type n odd and same background you can give let me add one hr so you can see the difference so as you can see the nth of type odd will select odd elements the first the third the fifth and seven okay and similarly let me add let me just change here three n plus two let's see so as you can see here it will select the second element from the top after that the third element and the third element okay so that's how this n top type css pseudo selector works okay let's talk about browser support n top type was introduced in css selectors module 3 which means old versions of browsers not support by and the modern browsers are very good supportive so you can use it on production environments as well okay and nth of type iterates through elements starting from the top of the source order so the only difference between this and nth last of type is that the latter iterates through elements starting from the bottom of the source order so there is the difference and the nth of type selector is very similar to nth child but with one critical difference that it is more specific so you need to keep this in mind as well so this was all for nth of tiles type css pseudo selector that's all for this video see you next time around thank you